at the National Grid Control Centre, National Balancing Engineer Simon Jeffcoats on duty. Arrayed on the wall in front of him is his view of Britain from above. The country's been tipped on its side and every high-power electricity connection from the far north of Scotland to Cornwall has been mapped out in loving detail. But Simon is bracing himself for the most difficult moment of his day by watching EastEnders. When the credits start to roll, he's going to have to deal with a massive surge in electrical demand, what's known as a TV pickup. We're expecting uh, a pickup of around about uh, three gigawatts, which is 3,000 million watts, or equivalent to one and a half to one and three quarter million kettles going on. So we expect the demand to pick up over a period of about five minutes. Power surges like this are unique to Britain. No other country in the world switches on so many kettles in so short a time. To cope with the strain, Simon has had to put specialised power stations on standby as far away as Snowdonia and Scotland. These hydroelectric plants can set thousands of tonnes of water plunging down the hillside at a moment's notice, generating huge bursts of power in a matter of seconds. But Simon is also having to ask our neighbours across the channel for a favour. To assist us with the end of uh, EastEnders, we have uh, the French uh, link picking up, and they are picking up um, 600 megawatts at 100 megawatts a minute. So that's, again, a very rapid response. Simon is slave to this flickering frequency indicator, which he has to keep as close as possible to 50 hertz. If there's not enough power in the national grid, it drops off the scale. Too much, and it shoots off the other side. And he has to judge his timing perfectly, even if the BBC isn't quite working to schedule. We, we would be notified a time for the end of the programme, and it hasn't actually finished at that time. Which means? <laughs> Simon fires off instructions from his keyboard. On the other side of the country, vast turbines rumble into life. Dunorwick is up to 150. I've just instructed him up to 300 megawatts now. Fastinyog is up um, to 90 megawatts. It's full output. French piling in now. Two minutes into the TV pickup, and it looks like there's going to be more than enough power to go round. And then suddenly, there's a problem. What is it? Oh, is it the French link? There's a trip on the additional supply from France. The frequency has dropped dramatically. Simon has just moments to cover the sudden shortfall. He rapidly sends out instructions to get one more hydroelectric plant online. Then, once more, the supply heads back into the safe zone. Uh, it was immediate decision. The f as soon as the frequency uh, dropped through 49.8, I had to react. The delicate balance of our electricity supply has been restored for now. Across the country, a million kettles keep on boiling. <laughs>